Hi, this is Tyler Disney from Integral Group Oakland, and in this series of videos, I'm going to be stepping through a workflow for how to pull in families, how to find them, where to get them from, what to look for, how to get them into your project, how to clean them up, and how to get them talking with schedules in your project uh, so that we don't have to be dealing with any Excel, AutoCAD, Auto Table, inserting DWG stuff. Um, so. Uh, what we're going to be examining is a situation where we have decided that we want a plate and frame heat exchanger in our Revit model. And we've decided that we're at a stage in the project where just a simple box that defines the outlines isn't going to do. So LOD 100 isn't good enough. We need something that's closer to LOD 2, 250, maybe even 300. We want to know where the connections are and what sort of kind of exact geometry we're looking for. And maybe even we're just curious as to what the thing looks like versus a box. We're getting bored of looking at this stuff. So we've decided that it's worth it to go get a detailed family. So the first question is, where do we get this family from? So, you know, you can get a PDF, uh, a cut sheet of what we want. So this is a Taco PF series plain frame heat exchangers and we've decided that we want this one the PF 100 8 inch uh, port sizes 3210 GPM that's the one we want where do we get it from well you've got a couple options you can send an email to your rep and say hey give me a Revit file for this you can make it yourself um, or the first option should be go to the internet and look for it so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to look for taco heat exchanger Reddit. And the first hit is actually going to turn out to be the winner. Uh, it is pointing us to seek.autodesk.com. So what that's telling us is that Taco has nicely uploaded all of the Revit content that they've gotten to seek, which is a really great repository. Sometimes if you're looking for family, just go to seek and search for it here. Um, so we look here, PF100, there we go. They've got what we want. Now, as we look, we can see that there are a, there is a different Revit family for each model. There's a different Revit family for PF100, PF71, etc. And that's great. It makes our job really simple. But I do want to go over the less simple instance, which is when they're going to have just one family and then they're going to have a text file that goes along with the family and you need to download both and what that is is it's going to be one family with multiple types and that text file is a lookup table that Revit can look at to say oh these are all the parameters of the different geometry and everything else for the family so when you pull it in you can say I want all these types bring it in and um, it just works better. It's a little bit trickier to pull it in. It's not bad though. So I'm just going to uh, say what those steps are. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the PF100 and check it. And now if there was a text file that went along with this, you'd check that as well. Go up to the top and download it. Uh, just download it to your desktop. You can tell I've already done this. Um, Okay, so it is technically possible to simply, here's our um, family on the desktop, it's, it is possible to simply drag and drop this family here, and it would be okay to do that with this family. However, if your family had a corresponding text file that went along with it, Revit wouldn't recognize, Revit wouldn't know that that text file is there if you just drag and drop it into Revit. So there's a, a, a process for doing this that will allow you to uh, look at the text file as well. The way is simply to go to the Systems tab, Mechanical Equipment, Load Family, and then Browse for the family. So if you just do this every time, you won't get yourself in trouble. So after I hit that button in a normal, in a family that had a text file accompanying with it, Revit would have found it, um, assuming it was at the same hierarchy as your family and ask you some questions about which type you wanted. It's pretty straightforward. Since we don't have that, it just let us dump the family right into Revit. So I'm going to click to place, and voila. There's my wonderful heat exchanger. 
and I can find it here in my, um, let's just see where we are, we're in uh, under the families category in the project browser and you can see that there's a few different families uh, there there are a few different types on this they're just already built into the family so that wraps up um, the first video and uh, stay tuned for the second video where we dig into uh, getting this guy set up for our project a bit more thanks